wasting <laughs> uh, distance that they can gain, and you can just close distance. Approaching that marked way. location. That's, that, that's the worst feeling situation. You're like, I'm gonna dodge it, and they don't throw anything out, just to slowly walk next to you. This uh, is Sparrow defeat. 3 over. That's we'll it. link up with you shortly. Monster. Grass back. Hostile forces approaching. Dying. Keeping himself nice, healthy, and 50 CS in the lead. Just bow. Big gain from this lane on the top side. Once he gets the turrets now with this uh, Triforce, he'll be able to knock them down. But C9 loses mid. Hopefully, yes, they can answer with top right away. And bottom, actually. And bottom. So that is going to be all outers. Just kidding. <laughs> all outers of the top and bottom lane. The outer extremities. <laughs> Dragon trade for Riffield, though, in the aftermath. Mid lane still waiting to go down. Yep, Dragon will be hit up. Looks like Cloud9 has actually lost the inverse. They're only losing mid here. So they have to watch how uh, they can get attack going and use those turrets in the morning. TSM will be able to do. Still yeah. have a 5,000 gold lead here. Morning. Hostile forces approaching. Spent, or spent Jensen in the middle. Yeah, and remember that this early gold lead is important for Cloud9 because they're the ones who want to try and use their global advantage and draw the map, sort of extend uh, the area that they have to work with. With the outers going down, even though the mid one still stands, and that is huge for gaining control of the jungle, outer turrets being down does allow Cloud9 to continue to apply this pressure and stretch TSM over the map, uh, weakening them, because TSM, Kog'Maw specifically gains so much strength when you group up as a team. Uh, and you're able to use anybody sort of as a body in front of you and a meat shield uh, to provide some CCs and disengage. So uh, Cloud9 definitely wants to neutralize that by stretching TSM out across the map and also being able to take advantage of their early Lich Bane Twisted Fate uh, and Gangplank that's got such a huge lead already to the Trinity Force Essence Reaver combo here for Balls. Wow, didn't even go for the Essence Reaver into Infinity Edge, or Trinity Force into Infinity Edge right. for the Are you trying big crits. Getting that uh, cooldown reduction for him. He's going to be very slippery with the removed scurvy on low cooldown. Seeing what he can get out of it right now. <laughs> Not very much. Didn't have another barrel to put down and get the extension. You see range. this barrel? <laughs> oh, blow it up. Boom. Don't need it. Oh. Big chunk on high is actually important. And so, actually, so there's that Quicksilver Sash we thought that would be going for real presence quick. Detected. Yeah, on there. Okay. And not the cleanse. Uh-oh, though. Rush actually gets hit up on Steadfast Presence. He can't get in or out when he tried to safeguard to his ward. A lot of focus on to Rush. Sneaky now has Yellow Star on him. High's trying to get back to the help and fade call. Monster making it out. Rush actually healthy now. Sneaky goes down. The wild card's just missing on the end as Cloud9 backs up but still wants to attack. That was a big pick on to Rush. Rush yeah. actually took that fight let himself be caught, thinking that he could rely on Lee Sin's mobility to escape. Oh, that ult! Morning. The ult does more damage the lower you are. Under 25% there for high, and double lift gets another kill for the team. Three kills bet into Kogma. That is huge. TSM, that was a very big mistake from Rush and a very good move from TSM. They needed to find a pick and get a team fight. They wanted to group up. They got their fight with everyone in the mid lane there together and they were able to get some extra money onto double if this is gonna be huge so right oh right. he wasn't waiting there that's that's uh that's my fault on the call then uh rush was actually trying to clear wards regardless though it was a dangerous position for him to be in as uh Hansen moved up and blocked his escape and uh it kind of everybody got forced so cloud split. nine into this team fight which we said they don't want to take the no. team fight they want to try and split the map and uh tsm very happy that they were able to get that pick uh definitely Gets them some money uh, on the way towards getting back in this game. They definitely still have a pretty big yeah. gold disadvantage exactly. to overcome. But uh, that was definitely a much needed fight for TSM. And uh, Cloud9 is going to have to be a bit more careful about, about playing their warding game. Because, as you see, somewhere. not escape. Hallelujah, are secured. Yeah, that well, was really so well much. played. Was Even with his uh, steric cinder no, I need to get the hell out of here. I mean, he stayed alive, but it was not good positioning for the team. Yeah, it forced them into a fight they didn't really want to take, and it actually cost them sneaky life. Behind. So, while Rush isn't the one that went down, still uh, was the one who got picked. What happens for here from Cloud9? Triforce, Lichbane, 
means once they get to these turrets, they will fall quite fast. I don't know if Balls is ever going to be with the team to make that happen, too, though. With two members, I should say. 2-0-4. Full kill participation here from Jensen on the Twisted Fate in mid lane. So that's the guy they need to be big and also help them make moves here. All right. Team. It's going to be difficult for Cloud9 to get in. Looks like they might just trade turrets here. A lot of TSM have been wandering through the river. They're not even committing to top, actually. Jensen really wants to take a pot shot at that turret. Just the yeah. Lichbane auto, single one, takes a big chunk out. TSM actually swing back town towards mid, so turret's not traded. The top wave dives, uh, dies on the turret. And the mid wave...